tetanus is this uh, bacteria, better known as uh, Clostridium tetani. It's an anaerobic bacteria, and what that means is it does not require oxygen to live. Now, it's commonly thought to be uh, transferred uh, or transmitted via rusty nails. However, uh, since it does not require oxygen, it can live on uh, nails that are not rusty as well, and it's typically uh, transmitted uh, via a uh, puncture wound where uh, that wound delivers the uh, bacterium spores into the body. Now let's take a look at the, the signs and symptoms. Now what these uh, tetanus toxins do is they affect the uh, skeleton muscle by uh, binding with the uh, nerve terminals and what they do is they uh, block the ne neurotransmitters now they can't do that with a heart because the heart has electrical properties so the signs and symptoms we get are uh, uh, jaw stiffness uh, locked jaw essentially the muscles can't contract uh, also neck stiffness uh, difficulty uh, swallowing uh, basically uh, any type of uh, muscle uh, spasms now you could also have uh, increased uh, temperature or uh, blood pressure, but the, the main signs and symptoms are uh, muscle spasms. And they're going to last anywhere from uh, three days uh, to three weeks. And let's say the three days could be a, a severe wound versus uh, three weeks. Uh, one of the factors uh, for signs and symptoms is how close the wound is to the uh, central nervous system. Obviously, the, the closer it is to the central nervous system, the uh, uh, quicker the signs and symptoms will appear. Let's take a look at uh, the diagnosis. Now, uh, for my current research, there's no uh, blood test available for that. Uh, so what that leads us to do is to ask, okay, what are the tetanus symptoms, uh, particularly like muscle spasms, jaw stiffness, neck, neck stiffness, uh, difficulty swallowing. Uh, do we meet any of that criteria? Another test is known as a spatula test, and what that does is it tests gag reflexes. Now, uh, how is uh, tetanus treated? Well, uh, one form of treatment would be to uh, clean the wounds and uh, uh, try to remove uh, dead tissue if possible. Uh, another form of treatment would be prevention, simply uh, getting the uh, tetanus, tetanus uh, toxoid uh, vaccine, and that typically lasts uh, or is recommended uh, every 10 years. And that essentially wraps up an overview of uh, tetanus. Thank you for watching.